Hey guys, it's uh, Tyler X71 or Classical, whatever you feel like calling me here on the Jimmy Master Animatronics channel. Um, tonight I am making a review of this Big Head Bride of Frankenstein uh, because it's one that hasn't been shown on this channel yet, as far as, yeah, no, it hasn't, as far as I know, anyway. Um, and it's actually, I think, a pretty cool piece because it's um, not one that you find very often on ebay i mean it'll pop up every now and then but it's not like the most common um i'm not sure which is more common out of these whether it's this one or the actual frankenstein itself um but there's this one and then of course as you probably know the licensed frankenstein um i really like these ones i think it's really cool this is actually a childhood item of mine not this exact one but i did have this uh, figure as a kid I got it at Party City it was the store display one um, I remember going in there they had it up at the register and I remember trying it but the batteries were dead but then we ended up buying the display and when I put fresh batteries in it it worked great I don't exactly remember what happened to that because I was very young at the time that was probably in like 2001 or around there so I was pretty young at the time like four years old probably and so yeah, now I ended up getting this one off eBay about two years ago, and I still have it. I don't really display this one though, it kind of sits in my closet on the shelf, and I only bring it out around Halloween time. Um, if I had more room, then I would display it, but I really don't have a lot of room. So, it uh, plays three different songs, Super Freak, the Here Comes the Bride Wedding song, and some other random song. The uh, three songs it plays has absolutely nothing to do with The Bride of Frankenstein itself, which is pretty weird. It's kind of weird how they ended up getting the licensing for this figure when, like, the songs aren't, like, related to it. But I don't know. that Whatever. Jemmy doesn't really get licensing anymore. So, um, well, I mean for, like, items like this anyway. The only thing they really get licensing for is inflatables and stuff. So... It dances, the head turns side to side, the eyes glow red, but what's cool about this is actually, I don't have the box for this, but on the box of this one, the prototype, the eyes actually light up green. So it'd be pretty cool if the eyes were to light up green. I mean, you could mod it and make it have green eyes. Actually, if I had a second one, I would do that, but who knows if I'll ever find a second one. I think I'll get getting this one for like only 25, 30 bucks with shipping, which is not a bad deal. Um... Here is, uh, I'm going to give you like a close-up look towards the end of the video, but there's like the bottom of it and everything. Don't mind like all the junk in the background. Um, the only thing I had to fix on this was, of course, the mouth, because you guys know how bad the mouths are on these. Um, just take the staples out of the neck. You guys know that whole ordeal. This one is actually quite a pain to fix. This one usually is. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, so you don't have to keep hearing me rambling on. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you what it does. I don't have it plugged in. Hold on. There we go. I have it on a six volt adapter because I don't have any batteries at the moment. weird it just stopped maybe the adapter came out or something huh oh now it's like not working at all all right well i don't know i can't tell if the adapter's loose or something this is a six volt adapter so it should be working oh, oh, maybe it just like took a shit on me maybe it doesn't work maybe that was a Honestly, I have not used this since last Halloween, but when I did use it, I used it on batteries.
Yeah, I think that's the problem. The like adapter jack that goes in the bottom there is like not a very tight connection. That's really about it, so thanks for watching.